All right, guys, let's dive right in. So I'm going to be installing Node.js and NPM, NPM being the Node Package Manager, which is a package manager, obviously, for uh, Node.js, which allows you to easily install dependencies for Node.js. So I'm going to be doing this for Windows, Linux, and Mac. And if you have a distribution of Linux where this process does not work, please let me know in the comments and I'll give you some resources. Now, this should work for like 90 to 95 percent of all Linux distributions. But like I said, in the case that this doesn't work for you, if you're using Linux, just let me know and I'll help you out. So we're going to start with the Mac and Linux process because it's going to be the same. And I'm going to be using some uh, I'm going to be pasting some stuff into my terminal over here. So when I do that, you can either copy it or you can go into the description of this video and find the web page where I have all the links pasted. So you can copy and paste those if you desire. So let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to install something called NVM, which is a node version manager. And um, sorry, I you should also have your terminal up. Um, so yeah, um, node version manager allows you to basically switch in between different versions of Node. So if you're working on multiple projects in Node.js, you may have one project that's using like Node 10, and then you have an, may have another project that's using like Node 8, for instance. These are just random numbers I'm throwing out there. But if you install Node 8 and you also have a project running on, say, Node 5 or something like that, then you're not going to be able to run the project properly. So we use something called an NVM, which allows us to easily switch in between versions of Node. It's a Node version manager. So we're going to start by installing that. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this little thing. It's a curl script and I'm going to press enter and it's going to download it and clone it. Okay. Give it a second. Cool. Okay. Now that the curl is complete, um, if you type in NVM dash dash version, you will see probably this command NVM not found. Now, if you don't see that, that's perfectly fine you can skip this step. But if you do see this, what you need to do is you need to actually restart your terminal. So you need to go ahead, close your terminal, and then reopen your terminal. And let's see what happens after that. Okay, so I have completely closed my terminal and reopened it. And I'm going to type in NVM dash dash version, and I see 0.33.1. So that's working correctly. So with NVM installed, what we're able to do is install different versions of Node and also switch between them. So I'm going to demonstrate that very quickly. So let's install Node really quick. So I'm going to say NVM install Node. And what this is going to do is it's going to install the latest version of Node. So I'm going to do that. Let this complete. OK, now that that's complete, you can see it installed version 12.6.0. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say NVM install and I'm going to put a dash dash LTS. Now, what this is going to do is install the latest long term support version of node, which means it's going to be the most stable. So uh, or the latest, most stable version. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and wait for that to complete. OK, cool. So you can see that the latest LTS is 10.16.0 and it says I'm now using it. So that's cool. So what if I wanted to install a specific version of node. Let's go ahead and install a specific version of node really quick. So let's install 8.9.4. So I'm going to say NVM install and I'm going to literally just put 8.9.4 and then I'm going to click enter and it's going to install node version 8.9.4 and wait for that to complete. All right, so that's now complete and we are now using 8.9.4. OK, so let's just say we want to switch back to the LTS. We want to switch back to the latest long term support version. So we have a project that we're currently working in with Node.js and we want to switch to, you know, the latest LTS. So we're going to say NVM use dash dash LTS. And now we are now we are now currently using um, the latest LTS version of Node. Now, let's say we want to switch back to 8.9.4. Very simple. We just say NVM use whoops use. 8.9.4. Okay, so it's that simple. Um, you can just use NVM use to switch in between different versions of Node. Now, this is going to be a luxury for those who are using Linux and Mac. This is not available on Windows, but what you can do is install a third party version of this, but it's not going to be the official one. So you're going to have to constantly update it and make sure that it's being uh, maintained properly. But um, in the Windows, installation is going to be much simpler. So 
we're done installing node here. Um, so let me just go ahead and make sure we have, actually, I think it was up here. Duh, duh, duh. I think I saw NPM up here. I just want to make sure your NPM is installed. So I'm just going to put NPM dash V. So yeah, we've got node package manager as well. So we have NPM installed. We have Node.js installed and the node version manager installed all on, on here. I'm using Linux. This same process works perfectly fine with Mac as well. So let's go ahead and move on to the windows installation. So Windows is gonna be way easier. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to this link right here, nodejs.org slash en slash download. En is for English, I believe. So if you live in a different country, this will be a different link for you. So just make sure, what I, what I like to do is I just go to Google and I type in install Node.js for Windows and then I click on this link right here. And like I said, it might be different for you right here, but other than that, it's gonna be the exact same link. So what I will do is I will then I will then scroll down. What I want to do is find the Windows installer. And for my processor, I'm going to be using a 64 bit. So I'll click that and you can see that it begins downloading here in the bottom left, at least for Google Chrome. If you're using a different web browser, it might not pop up here, but I'll assume you know how to do that. So once this completes, which it's doing some, uh, looks like some checksum stuff. Once that completes, I'll go ahead and open it. Cool, it's done. So I'll click open and you can see here that it says, please wait while setup wizard prepares to guide you through the installation. You see, it's going to try to um, do this all very automatically, automatically, I'll call it. The setup wizard will now install Node.js on your computer. So I'll click next, accept the terms, next, put that wherever you want it. I recommend the default location, next. This is going to include NPM package manager. Um, it's going to add it to the path. Uh, it's going to do all of the hard work for you. So click next. And then you want to go ahead and click install. Now I'm going to cancel it because I already have Node.js installed. But um, once you finish that, you will have Node.js installed. So what I'm going to do is run over here to my PowerShell. And this is my Windows CMD. So you can use CMD or PowerShell for Windows. And I'm going to just quickly check node dash dash version. And you can see I'm using 10.15.3 for node and then NPM dash V. So make sure you go to your CMD or your PowerShell, whichever you prefer, and you check both the version for node and NPM to make sure that you actually have this stuff installed properly. You may need to reboot your computer. You may not need to. The install wizard will probably tell you, but that should be it. So that's installing Node.js on Windows, Mac, and Linux.